So now we have our account set up. It's time to point our router to this uh, cloud zip trunk and start sending calls out. Um, and the first thing we're going to need to do is look through their documentation. So what's nice is that they have a Cisco um, configuration ready for us to copy and insert our information into, which is very convenient. Okay. So I go to support up here and down to configuration examples. And if you scroll down, you'll see PBX samples, click that. And we can go down and click this link right here under Cisco iOS. So SIP trunk, username, password authentication. Um, we're going to want to copy all of this and put it into a notepad. And I just pasted it under the information that we saved in um, the last video, our um, pop server IP address, the account number, and the DID and you are also going to want to have the password that you chose to have emailed to you. Um, so with that information pulled up so we have our information and we also have um, this sample configuration and you can see that they have a couple notes um, like current IP address for New York 4 dot VoIP dot MS. So here's where we're going to want to put in the IP address for the server that we want to handle our calls. Um, and we actually documented that right here. Um, you can go back and watch the last video if uh, you did not document that or just find it on the website. So I'm going to get rid of this and put in the IP address that we needed. Um, and then the rest of this, I don't see any notes for anything that needs to be changed. Then localhost, DNS, and this is where we are going to actually um, put in something else as well. Um, I'm going to have to go back to the site to grab that. Okay, and back on the site, if you go to DID numbers, manage DIDs, select the routing main account, and then go to default DID routing, and let's just choose copy this. Then I will go back to our notepad, and right after the colon, we're going to paste that in, New York 4 .voip.ms. And then credentials. So we recorded the username. Which is the account. So I'm going to highlight this and paste in the account instead. And then um, this is the password that they would have sent you via email. So whatever uh, password they sent you, just go ahead and it's after the zero and then your password. And then you can leave, you can leave that in there since it's the same one that we chose for this. And then registrar one, that can stay there for this video since that's the one that I chose. And um, so this is the note saying you would, if you chose a different one, you would want to put that in there. But since we're going to keep this one, I will just leave that the same. Okay, and then we are going to come down and we're going to um, get into dial peers. So this dial peer is actually for inbound calls. So when a call comes in, towards our call manager or, or into our sup, SIP trunk it's going to match this dial peer and then it's going to send it to our call manager so we recorded our DID and 
I'm going to get rid of the periods and get rid of that comment as well and then get rid of this IP address and put in my call manager IP address as well. And then this is the dial peer for outgoing calls. So I'm just going to get rid of this comment. I'm going to get rid of this one as well so it doesn't screw up pasting it in. Um, and then it, this is uh, the, the regex for matching the numbers. You can just leave this how it is. Um, and then you can see there's another comment that we're going to want to remove. Your preferred server's IP address. So once again, that's the pop server address that we had. So I'm going to remove that. And then after the colon, I'm going to paste in ours. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so this is the same type of thing. If you pre if I had a a one prefixed on it, this dial peer would handle the call. So once again, we'll get rid of the comment and the IP address and paste the new one in. And then we'll do the same thing for this dial peer as well. And now we are ready to SSH to our router. So in the a couple videos ago, I showed you how to set up a virtual router from Cisco. Um, so if you are confused by this, uh, maybe go back and watch that one. And I'm logged into my router and I can um, start copying and pasting this in. And I will do it section by section to make sure that it doesn't get all screwed up. So I'm going to want to start in uh, global configuration mode. I'm going to go into the voice configuration of the router in voice service VoIP. Then I'm going to make one more change and I'm going to add our call manager in here. That I'm going to paste this whole section in there. Um, and a uh, trick if you didn't know, um, when you're, you have an SSH session started, if you have something copied, you can just right click and it will be pasted in. So it took all of that perfectly. Now I am going to add this part as well. Okay. So we actually did get an error. So I am going to exit and go back into global configuration mode. So you can see it gave us an error. So I am going to put in key, config key, password, encrypt. Okay, and now it's gonna ask for a password. So go ahead and put in your password of choice. I'm typing and it is not um, showing up on the screen. So I had I made a password and confirmed it and I'll set that aside. So go ahead and do that and record what that is. And then let's try pasting this in again. Um, so we're going to need to go back to the voice service VoIP. Um, and it did not like something. Okay, I must have accidentally gotten rid of a word here. So you actually need credentials, username, and password. I somehow got rid of that. Um, so I'm just going to do this line by line to make sure all three of them work. Oh, it took that. that okay so we had already taken that so that's fine okay so that's fine um now one thing before i put in these dial peers is you can see that we have register 
one DNS New York for um, right here this now that's going to be a problem if um, our router is not able to find uh, that um, is not able to resolve that address and I'll show you so if I go into exit exit and I do a ping new your oop I'm just gonna copy it and it's just gonna time out it's not gonna find it so what I need to actually do is add an entry on this router so I'm gonna go back into global configuration mode and I'm gonna say IP host the host name and then I need to put in the IP address I'm gonna put in call manager as well okay so now I'm going to try to Actually, I'm not going to try to ping it because I know that um, even though it will resolve that address, um, it that address does not respond to pings. I'm sure that's for DDS, DDoS attacks. Um, but now we should be able to go ahead and do our dial peers. Um, so back into global configuration mode. Took that one, no problem. No problem. No problem. And no problem. Okay, and when I go back to the main menu in Portal Home, and down here I see that no registration is found. So I went back and I think I found a problem um, right here under SIP UA, authentication, username. I forgot to put in or to change this. So I'm going to copy this line again. Go back into my putty session, which I'll have to reconnect. And I will go into global voice service VoIP and SIP UA and copy that in and get updating username. Okay, and we'll see if that fixed it. That did not fix it, so now I'm looking again and I see that there was another mistake that I made. Um, I did not put the password right here in your password, so I'm going to update that. Copy that line again. And it's updating the password, and now we'll see if it's fixed. And it took a minute because of the timeout. But here we are, we are registered. Okay, and as you can see, that wasn't the smoothest of rides. Um, that, uh, even though I've already done this once, it still was kind of difficult. And you might have to struggle with it as well. Um, so don't get discouraged if it takes a while. If you're having all kinds of trouble, um, don't hesitate to reach out to me in the comments um, and I'll uh, do my best to give you a hand. But just keep up. Um, and keep at it and it's uh, it's a great feeling when you struggle with something especially like this something like this where it seems very intimidating you know you're setting up a SIP trunk um, you're in a router that you might not understand but you the more you get your hands on it um, the more you'll understand and the more confident you'll feel um, learning other new technologies so in uh, the next video, I am going to actually register our router to Call Manager so that I can send calls from Call Manager to the router, and then the router will then send the calls out to our newly registered SIP trunk. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If this was helpful, please hit like.
please hit subscribe and I will be making many, many more videos. Thank you.